Good morning everyone. I am out in my front lawn enjoying a little bit of peace and quiet as well as some of those sounds of nature. My husband actually went out with my dad and the three kids to pick up something very exciting that we'll be adding to the backyard. So I thought it would be a good time to share kind of a few things that we have done since our last renovation update video. We've made quite a bit of progress in the house as far as painting is concerned. As you can see behind me, I'll show you guys even better, but we have all our ceilings painted, thank goodness. We just shared a video on how to remove popcorn ceilings yourself. If you guys have not seen it, I'll go ahead and link to it. And we painted most of the first floor. Um, it was a lot of work, but we are so glad that that part is done. Now I have shared our home tour before we moved in and anything was in our house and I'll go ahead and link to that if you guys have not seen it. However, this is our main living room when you enter the front door and it's kind of been a catch all while we've been renovating. The floors have since been removed and the popcorn ceiling has also come down. As you can see here, the window sill has been removed and we removed them from all of the windows in the house. The next step was to paint the ceilings and paint all of the walls as well as the trim. Now we went all the way down the hallway towards the kids' bedrooms and laundry room area as well. This area alone was a lot of work and we have been very blessed that my parents would take the kids on the weekends so that Nelson and I could address these rooms as quickly as possible. When painting our walls, we always paint two coats on them. And just a quick tip, if you have an unsightly doorbell like this one right here, um, I've actually done this before and one thing you can do is paint it the exact same color as your walls and it tends to not be such a huge distraction. After the walls were painted, my husband cocked the crown molding and I went ahead and painted over them. And here is a side by side of what the before and the after is of the walls. I also gave the mantle of the fireplace a nice fresh coat of paint. I am actually going to be replacing this mantle and I have big plans for this fireplace. However, for right now, I wanted it to look a little bit better because it was pretty dingy looking. So a fresh new coat of paint is going to help it until we can actually give it the proper makeover that I have in mind. Then it was off to do the kids' bedrooms. Now this is gonna be my son's bedroom and we're so excited. We let the kids pick the colors that they wanted for their bedrooms. We've been using Magnolia paint. We've actually really started liking this paint. It actually has really beautiful coverage. And this is the color that my son picked out for his room. I don't remember the name of the color off the top of my head, but I'll make sure to include it in my description box below. Now, as you can see, the windowsills have been removed and this room also had like a chair rail go all the way around it and we also removed that as well. Now, I will say one of the things that they did in this house when they built it was actually add crown molding all over the entire floor. So not only does the living room, hallway and kitchen area have crown molding, but so do all of the bedrooms. It's a nice touch, but I will say it does add that extra bit of work. However, it's totally worth it. Then it was time for the girls' bedrooms. There are enough rooms in the house for each of the kids to have their own room. However, we decided to put the girls in the same room in the meantime, because I will actually be using the littlest room in the house as my crafting studio until it's time for us to create my studio in the basement. My oldest wanted her pink room again, so we went ahead and gave it to her. It's another magnolia color. She had a pink room in the last house. However, it was kind of bright and a little bit too strong. So we chose something that was a little bit more subdued, but still pink. Of course, all the ceilings were painted and then all the walls were given two coats. And I'll make sure to put the color of this paint in the description box as well. And the third bedroom used to be this blue color. 
and this is what it looks like right now. We went ahead and used the color shiplap in this room, again, because I'm going to use it as my studio for the time being, but eventually we'll probably change it up when she moves into this room. All right, so I shared this shot in my last renovation update, and this is the corner right there where that light is, where our dining room area is. Since this house is a little older, it's kind of set up as an Eden kitchen situation. However, since we've been eating here, we've noticed it's just not enough space for our entire family. So I decided that I wanted to make it an extension of my kitchen and include an island in there. And I have got to design it myself. So I shopped around at different cabinet supply companies and I found a local one here that had some amazing prices. I decided the size that I needed it and the layout and that I gave all the information to them and they were able to create what I needed. And I decided to actually have cabinets on both sides. Now, in order to save money, we're gonna be installing this and adding the countertops ourselves. And we'll show you guys how that's gonna happen in another video. Here's another angle of where that island's gonna go. It's gonna literally double my kitchen size and I am so excited. But of course, you're probably wondering, where is my dining room area gonna be? It's actually gonna be as soon as you enter the house right in front of that fireplace. There is more than enough space for an entryway and a dining room area, so this is the perfect spot for it. And I've actually have some really cool plans. When we bought the house, we knew we wanted to add a little bit more square footage. And the perfect place to do this is in the garage, which is to the right of that fireplace. So my vision originally was to create two case openings on either side of the fireplace, make that a double-sided fireplace and have a small step down into a large great room. We will eventually build a brand new garage for our vehicles. And while this will take a few years to do, this definitely is the big plan. So in the meantime, we'll continue to hang out in the sunroom. And speaking of sunrooms, I ordered these beautiful bamboo blinds from Home Depot and we started putting them up. However, we ended up buying two large ones to cover the four windows in the back where the main sun enters and we're going to have to be opening them up and closing them all the time. However, that was not a good idea because they're cordless and we found out that the larger blinds you get that are cordless, the more issues you have in the long run with them. So we had to actually return those. As you see, we're trying to put it up here, but it just wasn't happening. So we took those down and right now we are missing the whole side of window coverings. So it's kind of a bummer because right now I can't do anything else in the sunroom. I just have that side of blinds up and I'm waiting for the other ones to get here so we can go ahead and install it and I can move forward with the sunroom. Next, we have begun starting work on the floors. My husband had an amazing idea of using plywood as a substitute for hardwood floors. He decided that he was going to buy all this plywood and cut them down into large eight inch planks. My dad actually came over and helped him out with this. And here you see him cutting them, but he wants to install this throughout the entire house, lay them down like hardwood floors, stain them and seal them himself. And he's gonna be showing you guys how to do this. This hands down was the most affordable option for us. And it's actually looking pretty good. I can't wait to share with you guys how that is turning out. And lastly, we have had some heavy machinery in our yard, clearing up a lot of much needed brush and dead stuff that my husband and my dad already took down. So our yard is gonna be looking a lot different in the next couple of weeks. And if you have been following me on Instagram, you probably already know what that machine is capable of. I am really excited about this because our yard, when we bought it, was severely overgrown and this will help. So we're back on the front porch <laughs> and they're still not here. So that's actually kind of nice. I'll enjoy this quiet just a little bit longer, but that's pretty much what we've been working on these past couple weeks. And that is the progress we have made. Of course, now we have to finish those floors. We have to start adding trim. We have to finish the kitchen. I have to install my island. There's a lot of things that need to take place in the next couple of weeks. So I am actually very excited. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on and I hope to have a lot more progress videos for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of all the work we have done so far, what you look forward to seeing. And um, yeah, there's just so much stuff happening right now. And hopefully I'll have another video for you guys very soon. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then.
Adiós.